everybody. David here at Unsightly Vinyl, here to do a shout outs video. This is inspired by two videos that I saw today. Uh, the first was from Emma at 8 Vinyl Low. Emma is celebrating her one year VC versary. Uh, she's been in the VC for one year and she made a video collage um, thanking all of her channels that she is subscribed to and uh, it was nice seeing that so thank you emma for the shout out and congratulations on your one year anniversary in the vc the uh, second video was from sean at sean's vinyl corner uh, he did a video of uh, some shout outs as well he named 20 or so channels that he enjoys watching and uh, i was one of those channels he shouted out so thank you sean for the acknowledgement uh, it's always good to know that people are watching your videos. Uh, so I wanted to jump on board and get some shout outs to some folks that uh, I enjoy watching on a regular basis. Of course, there are the staples of the VC, the veterans. You've got Mr. Hall of Fame, Brandon. Um, you've got Steve Carlson, Jeff Kempen, Bill the Vinylverse, uh, Vinyl Richie. I love Vinyl Richie's uh, kind of no nonsense, fuck it all attitude. <laughs> um, Melinda Murphy's another one, uh, Dan's uh, Dots and Loops up in Canada. Uh, all great channels in the VC, all that I try to watch whenever you guys and gals post new, new content. Um, some other channels that I really enjoy, uh, Mazzy, uh, I love his whack a mole videos. Uh, and any any video he does a thread response to, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, he's got a very um, wide range of, of albums in his collections from from folk and bluegrass to kind of new age uh, music. I always enjoy seeing his videos. Um, Beth at B-Sides. Beth is why I'm in the VC. I always enjoy seeing Beth's videos. Um, I was joking around the other day with uh, Mike, guitar player 07, and saying, you know, I would love to do a video collab with Beth, but um, I'm not sure logistically how that would work out. Uh, Beth doesn't like showing her face on camera. It's a personal preference. Uh, so, Beth, if we can make it work, I would love to do a video collab with you. Talking about horror soundtracks, it'd be fun. Um, Eric Weinbender is another channel I really enjoy. Uh, I really like Eric's approach to his videos. You're just kind of sitting in the living room with him, shooting the shit, uh, having a drink. Eric has a very um, eclectic taste in music as well. Uh, anything from from jazz to you know black exploitation soundtracks, he likes it all. He's not into just vinyl, he's also into uh, comic book stuff um, and movies, so I can appreciate that. Um, John at the Digital Gramophone is another channel that I really enjoy uh, watching videos from. Uh, John and I had talked back and forth uh, outside of the VC. Uh, John has an Instagram account. Uh, we've messaged back and forth through Instagram Messenger. Um, I was planning on making a trip down to the North Carolina, South Carolina area before this whole pandemic thing broke out. And I was really looking forward to meeting up with John and uh, making a trip to Noble Records, meeting Chris and Dylan, and uh, just doing some uh, crate digging. So uh, John has, ex has a lot of similar tastes in me. Uh, he's uh, turned me on to some music from the 90s that I missed when they originally came out, as, as well as the music from the 2000s. So, really enjoy John's content and his channel and his uh, sense of humor. Um, speaking of Chris, Chris Tunes uh, from the Man Cave, I enjoy his channel. I know very little about jazz, but I appreciate all that Chris knows about jazz and he shares in his videos. I really like his uh, Southern boy kind of approach to the videos. He just talks to you, tells some uh, funny stories, and, and he's just a very personable guy. Uh, I was, again, bummed that I didn't get to make it down to um, North Carolina and South Carolina. But I'm hoping that once this is all over with, 
um, I can maybe make a trip down there sometime in the summer and meet up with you guys. Uh, Dana Kimborowicz is a new channel to me, and I have really enjoyed what he's been posting. Uh, Kimbo, as he goes by, is up in the uh, Seattle area. He's uh, done some great videos on some of the bands from the Seattle area. I've thoroughly enjoyed those. Uh, uh, Kimbo is another one that has an account on Instagram that I have uh, been following, and I uh, have enjoyed seeing his posts there as well. Uh, Dan's Vinyl Channel. Dan and I started in the VC around about the same time in March of 2019. Uh, so we've kind of grown up together in the VC. Dan, I really like Dan a lot. Uh, Dan has a lot of the tastes in music that I, that I have. Um, he's big into 80s music, the hair metal stuff. That's stuff I grew up with watching on MTV. Uh, I was a big fan of, you know, all the hair bands, the Cinderella's, the Motley Crue, Skid Row, Warrant, Rat, all that music. Um, and I still enjoy listening to it from time to time. I don't have a lot of it on vinyl, but um, it's still a part of, of my musical upbringing, I guess you would say. Uh, Randall Weaver. Randall is uh, one of the first channels to subscribe to me. Uh, he's down in Tennessee. He has uh, some great taste in music as well. Uh, he's a big Grateful Dead fan. Um, he's into a lot of the bands that I like. Uh, bands like the, you know, the Arctic Monkeys, the Strokes, um, just some of the the late '90s and early 2000s alternative indie bands. So uh, Randall's a, ch a channel that I uh, will watch on a regular basis as well. Uh, Rod, the happy hippie final guy. I really like Rod. Uh, Rod is uh, an another Grateful Dead fan. Uh, he is also in Tennessee. He, uh, aside from being a, a deadhead, he is a big fan of the Stones and a big fan of Johnny Winter. Um, I was just joking with uh, Rod the other day through the comments that uh, I'm not as familiar with Johnny Winter as I am with Edgar Winter. Uh, me being a horror fan that I am, uh, Edgar Winter, I've heard the song Frankenstein countless times. <laughs> it's one I play every year at Halloween. So uh, if you're not familiar with Rod, and, and most of you are, Go check him out. He's a he's a great guy out of Tennessee. He uh, runs a, a a record booth at an antique store. Very knowledgeable and just uh, a great and humble guy. Um, Merrick, the final truffle. Merrick is uh, in New Mexico. He uh, he's a big Soundgarden fan. Uh, he's heavy into Chris Cornell in particular. Um, I met Merrick, well, I started talking to Merrick, I guess, on a more regular basis. I had hosted a contest, and I forgot to give Merrick an extra entry uh, into the drawing. And uh, it got down to the final two names, and, and neither of those names were Merrick, and he was expecting to, to, to have been in the, in the bowl twice. So I made it up to him. I knew he was a big uh, Chris Cornell fan, and I sent him a copy of Euphoria Morning, and um, he was super appreciative. I was happy to do it for him, and just from there, we've just kind of talked back and forth about uh, different music. Um, he's turned me on to some uh, new music. Um, most recently, he posted a video where he talked about an album called The Archer, um, I listened to it last night. I really enjoyed it. Uh, probably not an album that I will pick up immediately, but it's definitely one that will go on to my want list. So thank you, Merrick, for turning me on to The Archer. Uh, Rachel, the music ma'am, she has taken over the VC. She is spreading like wildfire. Um, I really appreciate Rachel. She is a big Beatles fan. Um, she's heavy into genealogy. 
Um, but she's just one of those people that enters every contest she can. She always comments on people's videos, which I appreciate. Again, it just lets me know that people are watching and they appreciate what we're putting out there. So Rachel, thank you so much. Uh, your subscriber count is definitely warranted from, from all your comments and just being a, um, a good steward of the VC. Uh, let's try to think of some other channels. I don't want to forget anybody. Um, let's just go international. Uh, so we've got Brandon Von D down in Australia. I uh, enjoy his channel. Um, South America, we have um, Christian Osorio. Uh, Christian has is big into 80s uh, rock and, and heavy metal. Um, We've got um, Goose69, he's also uh, in South America. He is also into heavy metal music. Um, in the UK, we've got James Griffith. I really have enjoyed James's videos lately. Uh, he's just recently started a thread where we were supposed to link 10 albums together. I really enjoyed that challenge and uh, I've been watching a lot of James Griffith's videos as a result of that. Uh, Richard McCook is another one in the UK that I've been enjoying his videos. Um, Richard has put out more in the last month or so than he has since I subscribed to him. So thank you, Richard, for giving me some entertainment. Um, Rob Walker, Let the Music Play. He's over in Manchester. Uh, I really enjoy Rob. Rob was also one of the first subscribers to my channel and I think one of the first people to give me a shout out. Uh, I really enjoy Rob's channel and the content that he shares. Uh, he shares a lot of uh, music from the Manchester area and I appreciate that. Uh, I am a big Oasis fan and uh, I just have enjoyed watching Rob's channel and learning about some from some acts from the, from Manchester and the surrounding area that I wasn't familiar with. Um, I'm trying to think who else we have international. Uh, uh, Chris, Blue Sky Vinyl, also up in Canada. Chris is uh, new to me. Uh, I discovered him through Mazzy's channel. I thought I knew a lot about blues, but Chris has proven me wrong. Uh, he knows a lot more about blues than I ever thought I did. I really enjoy Chris's channel. He has himself started some cool threads in the BC, and uh, I've enjoyed taking part of those as well. Speaking of Chris's, Chris Prophy. Musically Obsessed, I think he's up in the New York area. I really enjoyed Chris's channel. Uh, he has a wide range of taste in music from everything from country through heavy metal, hip hop, I just discovered. So Chris has started some threads uh, in the last couple of weeks uh, that have taken off and uh, thank you Chris for all your videos. Uh, thank you also for doing a cover of, of the uh, original song that I wrote. Uh, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to hear me. It means a lot to me to hear someone else sing my song. It's it's, it's kind of weird, but uh, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see who else we have. Um, I don't want to forget anybody, but I feel like I am. Uh, Mike, guitar player 07. Mike and I have. Um, been talking back and forth a lot. Uh, we just recently shot a collab video which should be debuting soon on Mike's channel. Uh, Mike is a, is a great kid out of New Jersey. Uh, he has a, a wide taste in music as well. Uh, he has a lot of records that he received from his grandfather and, and his father and uncle and he's got everything from old Hank Williams and Johnny Cash to Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. It's a very wide spectrum of music that he likes. Uh, I don't want to forget anybody. I, I know I am. Um, I, I'm, I'm just drawing a blank. I am doing this off the top of my head. I know I'm forgetting people. Uh, there is just so many channels that I follow. Uh, my wife and kids I guess get aggravated with me because uh, when I'm downstairs and have the TV to myself, I'm not watching network TV. I'm watching your guys in your videos, and they just they don't they don't they don't get it. 
who wants to watch people talk about records? This guy. <laughs> so, I am subscribed to so many channels. If I forgot you, please don't take it personal. I watch everything that you guys post, or I try my best to. Um, I try to comment when I can, and uh, I just want to say thank you all. Uh, the VC has been a, a great place for me. Uh, I, I enjoy talking to people that are like-minded and have similar tastes in music. I've discovered so much about music through you all, and uh, I am looking forward to future content from every one of you. And uh, until next time, take care, and thanks. I'm back. I could not end this video without giving some more shout outs. Um, the first one I wanna give is to Eve, Miss Lady Soul. Miss Lady Soul is up in Canada, Montreal area. Uh, Eve, I just wanna say thank you for your videos. I have learned so much about R&B and uh, hip hop that I, uh, those are just two genres that I am not overly um, familiar with. Uh, you show some great content. Uh, I always enjoy seeing your videos and, and hearing from you in the VC. So thank you, Eve, Miss Lady Soul. Miss Lady Soul. Uh, for my folks up in Maine, <clears throat> Steve, Value Vinyl, thank you for your videos. I always get a good laugh out of watching you. Um, I, I It just cracks me up to see the... Um, back and forth between you and Mrs. BV. Uh, you're quirky and silly, and she comes across in the videos as being like, I'm married to an idiot, and it just cracks me up. You're not an idiot, Steve, but it's just, it's just fun to watch the two of you interact with one another. Uh, Brian at Shamrock and Records. Uh, I discovered Brian through uh, the Vinyl Tag 2020 this year. Um, Brian has a great taste in music. Uh, he's a big Van Morrison fan. He's big into the singer-songwriter um, genre of music. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm myself, I'm a big fan of the singer-songwriters. Um, Pete Yorn and Butch Walker are a couple of, that I really like a lot and I feel like Brian likes those uh, two songwriters as well. Um, Cindy at Mama Cindy at Mama Cindy at Mama Bear Mama Bear Vinyl Cindy uh, Cindy is um, big into 80s music uh, she hasn't made a video in quite a while so Cindy hope you're doing well we miss seeing your face here in the VC and uh, come back and just let us know you're doing okay it'd be good to hear from you uh, Comic Rema. Comic Rema is out in Los Angeles. Junior. Uh, Junior has a very um, expansive collection of music. He's got everything from, gosh, 50s and 60s through today. Uh, Junior is a very spiritual person, and I appreciate that about Junior. Uh, I just always get good vibes from watching his videos. So Junior, thank you for all that you do and uh, hope you and your family are doing well. Tavis, Vinyl Talk with Tavis. I always enjoy your enthusiasm about music. Uh, I enjoy listening to you perform. Uh, I particularly enjoy the videos you've posted in the last uh, few weeks of you performing live. Uh, I would love to get to hear you sing and, and, and perform live uh, someday. Um, I don't know if and when that will ever happen, but just letting you know that I do appreciate what you've been posting and uh, I, I really enjoy your singing. Um, Hannah at the Omaha Int Introvert. Uh, she's one of the veterans of the VC, but I enjoy Hannah's videos. Uh, she is big into pop rock, shoegaze. Um, I know she's big into Jesus and the Mary Chain. I sent her a few records and she sent me um, a copy of um, one of R.E.M.'s albums. Um, I just always appreciate her videos and um, look forward to future videos from her as well. Oh, Tim, DJ High Noon down in Florida. Um, I really appreciate 
all that Tim does. Uh, he's got a great taste in music. He's got everything from uh, blues, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, he's heavy into psych rock and hip hop. Uh, Tim's just a very uh, chill kind of guy. Um, I just appreciate um, all that he has to offer in the VC and I value your friendship, Tim. Um, also down in Florida, we have Brad, H2 Vinyl. Uh, Brad is uh, someone that shares the love of uh, Queens of Stone Age with me. Um, Brad is also into bands like the Chemical Brothers and, and Uncle, and I, I appreciate that about, about Brad. Um, I discovered through comments that um, Brad went to school uh, in college in Wilmore, Kentucky, which is five minutes down the road from where I grew up in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Um, so it was fun getting to know, you know, some of the areas that, that Brad visited while he was, was in Kentucky going to college. And uh, it's just, it's a small world. Um, also down in Florida, we have Ron Haggerty. Um, I've watched Ron uh, in the last few months. He's expanded his um, musical horizons, I guess you would say. Uh, Ron uh, was heavy into uh, metal music, um, and now he's kind of just dipping his toes in other uh, genres, and it's always good to see that. So, Ron, keep it up. Um, Cosmic Brian. <laughs> Cosmic Brian is in Iowa. Uh, I really enjoy your energy and, and, and the fun that you bring to your videos. Um, you've got a very wide uh, taste in music as well. Um, I most recently enjoyed your collab sessions with Mazzy. Those were fun to watch. And I uh, always just appreciate what you bring uh, to the VC. Uh, so, so thank you, Brian. Chris. Chris uh, has his bins. Uh, Chris is, is a, a great guy. Uh, he's, he's a lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, Chris has a very extensive vinyl collection and he is just proof that being in the right place at the right time, you can get some great stuff. Uh, he's, he's got a lot in the last year or so. He just there was a professor that he got a bunch of records from. Uh, he found some stuff in Chicago recently. It's just, he has lucked out so many times, but uh, he's a great guy and, and very deserving of it. So Chris, enjoy your content and look forward to your future videos. Brian's Vinyl Records. Brian is another channel that I enjoy a lot. Uh, Brian, uh, I, I appreciate your Vinyl Fonds videos that you do every week. Um, I enjoy what you post on Instagram. Um, I try to like or comment when I can. So I appreciate all that Brian uh, brings to the vinyl community as well. So uh, that's that's it for now. Um, I, I know I'm forgetting people. And again, please don't take it personal. This is just all off the cuff from the top of my head. So I uh, hope you all are doing well. And until next time. Take care. Thanks.